The Lions women basketball head coach Nicole Anderson. Nicole, here we are. You're starting your third season here at AM Commerce. Kind of talk. How is how's the off season gone? Really well, actually. Uh, we did a ton of running, um, mostly running. We took the ball out of the players' hands for quite a bit of the preseason just in an effort to make sure that we were physically fit and prepared to go. So it makes my job now a lot easier knowing that we're in better shape and we're able to actually learn rather than try to breathe. I mean, talk, coming off last year, you, know, you had a very young team last year. Yes. You had you know, only two seniors last year. Obviously, Maddie and Anisha are going to be two hard seniors to replace, but you also got a lot of game experience right. for those young players. How do you think that's going to transition to this year? It, I see it already just in practice and their ability to translate my philosophy and my thoughts and my ideas to the young players and once we get into game situation that experience that those young players who are still very young now have is going to make our experience on the basketball court just that much more significant, explosive, um, challenging, uh, competitive. I'm excited about what we're going to do uh, this year. The sophomores are a year older, but most of those sophomores played a significant number of minutes, and I'm excited for them. I'm excited for our new kids also. We were talking a lot in the offseason. You brought in a, a good recruiting class, you know, a lot of really solid girls. Mm -hmm. How has the transition been for them adjusting to the college? <laughs> uh, the pace has been something that they're really trying to adjust to right now. Um, the quickness of the game and just the strength factor has been perhaps the biggest challenge for them. But what I've found and one of the things that's been the most interesting and exciting for me is that they have really, really good basketball IQ. And once you have a kid who can understand the game, think the game, now it's just a matter of executing those X's and O's and being a basketball player. So we're fortunate to have good kids who understand the game and who have good basketball IQ. Heading now into the conference season this year, a new look conference, no more north and south. It's one big conference. Yeah. You need to play everybody twice. Yeah. You know, what are your thoughts now on the new conference? I like it. I like the fact that uh, we know exactly who we're playing twice, so you kind of get a second shot at them and they get a second sh shot at you during the course of the year. But uh, it's going to be incredibly competitive again, um, like it has been in years past. Uh, we're looking forward to just being in the top half of that whole conference fight uh, throughout the course of the year and doing the things that we need to do to be successful, which are going to be defending. It's going to be scoring the ball in high numbers because our conference puts up big numbers regularly. So we have to do our job being great rebounders, great defenders, and then take better care of the ball than we did last year also. Looking before we get into the conference schedule, you have a lot of non-conference games at home yeah. to start the season. How crucial is, gonna, is that opening stretch going to be? Incredibly for us, uh, still being somewhat young. Uh, last year we were on the road quite a bit and wanted to change that mindset, give our kids some comfort in our own building. I think it's going to be huge for us just uh, getting comfortable with each other, playing in an environment that's very friendly and supportive. The, the question no coach likes to hear at the beginning of the question, what are your expectations heading into the year? I expect us to be very competitive again. Um, I want us to have some success, and our kids want to have success. So I'm excited about just that challenge. How are we going to look once the, the chips fall? What are we really going to be doing out on the basketball court? Again, I believe that we have a very good team, and I'm, I'm thrilled at the work that they're putting in on the basketball court. They're wiped out when they get off the court every day. So my expectations are high. That will never change. I took this job knowing that we were going to have a bit of an uphill climb. And we're still climbing and we're still fighting. And uh, I think we're going to surprise some people. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs>